Greetings everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your host Captain Rye and today's World of Warships video is probably one of the most frustrating and rage inducing videos I have personally had in quite some time. Like Friday's video, this video is going to come down to it. The battle is going to come down to those last few seconds and it's going to be one of the closest ends that you will probably see in a very long time. The reason for my frustration in this battle, if you will notice, I have just spawned into the game. Now there's a little bit of a replay bug here where the timer for the matches isn't actually showing you the correct time. It's off by about 30 seconds. So I've just spawned in the game a little after five minutes, a little before the game has passed at six minute mark. And my team is losing. While we have two caps at the moment, that is going to change very, very quickly. We're down on ships and the enemy team is pretty much just wiping us out at the sea cap point. And then they're going to make their way up here after they capture that. So as I've spawned in, I've already got enemy ships pushing up near me. Fortunately, they didn't see me before I was able to get underway and moving. So I've got my smoke screen out and I'm going to start taking shots at whatever I can. Being so late into the match basically means I'm gonna have to work extra hard to get enough damage done for this match to be even remotely good. What happened, why that spawn, I don't know. I do know that I had to force close the program twice before I was finally able to log in. Lately, for whatever reason, the game just randomly picks one map, one battle, and it craps out. So because of that, I end up in situations where I've spawning in five, six, seven, ten minutes after the battle started and things go to pot very quickly. The enemy team has now taken both C and B. We are way down on ships and they're going to start gaining a points lead and it's going to be a pretty substantial points lead. Spotted one of the enemy destroyers there, popped up, took shots at him, managed to avoid most of his return fire. I'm going to try and use the island for cover as I get back down here and hopefully go in and try to contest B. We have one other friendly destroyer who's also a tier 7 premium like myself and between the two of us will hopefully be able to deal with the enemy destroyers. They have a Mahan, a Nicholas, and a Kiev. As we push up through this island, I'm looking for viable targets. The enemy Mahan has popped up. An enemy cruiser has popped up. And actually, I mean, there's just a lot of enemy targets down here. The enemy Nicholas pops up, and he's right here. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to get shots out at him. I know I can wreck him as long as none of the other ships, including those cruisers back there, continue or try to shoot at me. So I definitely don't need that to be the case. I pop my smoke screen, but I don't slow down really it's more just kind of intermittent breaking contact and I'm trying to intermittently break the contact to throw off the aim but I'm also trying to keep that Nicholas spotted because I know I can wreck him unfortunately for me the Nicholas does manage to avoid becoming my first victim of this game as he disappears back into that smoke so, I'm going to turn back around, I'm going to use my own smoke screen as an artificial barrier and hide back behind there. Friendly Sims in front of me is firing off torpedoes. 
and you know we'll we'll see more of this Sims and his torpedo action later. Taking shots at the Omaha before he disappears into the friendly smokescreen. Gonna try and take shots at that Miyoko back over there, that Aoba back over there. And uh, finish him off. He's extremely low health, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. As that Omaha disappears into the smoke, I actually managed to set him on fire. And he's going to continue to burn for quite a little bit. I'm using my allies smokescreen. Torpedoes coming in there. Not too much to worry about as they fall short. And there's that Omaha who just extinguished the fire. He's extremely low health. Try to secure the kill on him. Get my forward guns out. Can I get it? Yes, there's my first kill of the game. You'll notice we are down to three ships. We're down to a tier 5 battleship and two tier 7 premium destroyers. The enemy team is now trying to push to A. They are trying to make this a total and massive one-sided victory. Enemy Mahan has popped up outside of the smoke there. He's very low health, so I'm going to start shooting at him. The enemy Kiev has popped up, and pay attention to that Kiev, because we're going to see a lot of him late in the game. Managed to secure my kill on the Mahan, and now I'm going to try and get up behind this island, but that Kiev is shooting at me, and he's detecting me, and I'm in detectability range. Technically, I could be shooting at him. Well, friendly Sims is taking shots at him. He pops smoke, and that's the reprieve I need as he breaks contact with me. I'm using this island, and I'm getting up here. There's both a Congo and this Aoba, extremely low health. But our Texas seems to be having a problem. I'm trying to tell the Texas to shoot the Aoba because he's so much lower HP. But he doesn't seem to be wanting to have any of that. I target the Congo as he comes around the corner and I open up on the Aoba. I pop my smoke screen just in case and I manage to land a good salvo on that Aoba. Let's see if I can finish him off and secure yet another kill. Set him on fire, get last shots off, but it doesn't matter. I finish him off with the fire. You know, set him on fire, he ends up with 49 HP left. He's not going to survive, even if he puts it out right away. Set that Congo on fire, who's repaired a little bit of his HP, but that Congo is sailing a nice straight line, and as he disappears from spotting, I manage to finish him off with a torpedo. <laughs> Big, dumb battleship drivers. They never change. They really don't. So, now, I've managed to very quickly drop our team's lists back to an equal amount. The enemy team still has two destroyers and a battleship, and our team now has two destroyers and a battleship. But the enemy team, one of their destroyers, is an extremely low health Nicholas. So they have a massive disadvantage in their destroyer capability. However, our battleship, our Texas back here, is extremely low health as well. So we have a disadvantage in the battleship department. There, the enemy Kiev has popped up yet again. He's still got most of his HP. He's going to take shots at me. But he's going to disappear behind the island. And fortunately, he just grazes me with those hits. I'm telling my friendly teammate in The Sims that since he's in position 2, he needs to go cap B. We need to get that extra cap. There, the enemy Nicholas popped up for a split second. And with any luck, we can finish him off. Now, the enemy battleship has popped up and he's relatively low health. He's not horribly low health, and he can still, of course, cause problems. So, as he's going to continue to sail in this line, I'm going to try and back up around this island. Mostly, I'm trying to get torpedoes on that Kiev. But looking at the situation, and looking at the position of that battleship, I'm thinking that the battleship might be a decent target. So, I fire off my torpedoes here. I should have waited an extra second because one of my torpedoes is going to clip this island so that's going to immediately drop me down to only two torpedoes 
My smokescreen is almost up again. I fire shots out, managed to set that battleship on fire. So now he's burning in two different places thanks to my guns. There the Nicholas has popped up and there's the Kiev and he's sailing away from my torpedoes. He could dodge these, he might not dodge these. I don't know if he's seen them yet. However, that battleship is sailing in a nice straight line, and oh, he just hit his own battleship, and the battleship almost pushes him into the line of one of my torpedoes. That would have been fantastic if I'd managed to hit two of them. Unfortunately, that's not the case, but I did take out that battleship, and there is my Kraken unleashed. You know, that's not bad considering how late I spawned into this game. Making the executive decision, there's just one destroyer left. We've pulled the scores back, but this guy's mostly full health, and since our battleship is so low HP, I'm going to decide to engage this destroyer in a gunfight. Yes, I know I'm basically suiciding myself at this point, but my hope is that I can drop him low enough that my other friendly destroyer and that battleship can effectively one-shot him with any ammunition type. As you can see those shots coming in there, the Sims is trying to snipe this guy at max range and he's using armor piercing. Not high explosive. So I take more shots in there, come on, I need just a few more shots, a few more salvos, can I get the kill? No, I don't manage to light him on fire or get the kill. Friendly battleship switches over to high explosive, donks all his shots right into the water and our friendly sims is still firing armor piercing at this guy. I just took that guy's health down to less than half. So there should be no reason why these two ships combined shouldn't be able to finish off this guy. He fires shots at our Texas who is on fire and extremely low health. Come on, get one more shot off, kill him. He gets one more salvo off with his forward gun turret. This could be it, but no, he misses his shots, fall short. Our Sims is now furiously trying to land hits on him, but he's having a hard time of it. He does manage to knock his health down. He almost gets him. Oh my god. Oh my god, the guy's got one hit point left. Come on, Sims, chase him down, keep him in the line of sight, and what are you doing? What? Sims, Sims, what are you doing? What? Sims, what are you doing? Oh my god. You turned broadside on, decided to stop chasing him, to fire torpedoes at a 1 HP destroyer with a Sims that's nine kilometers away. I, I have no words. This is about the moment in time the rage boiled. <laughs> and I think you would agree with me that given the situation, you would probably rage as well. Now, I'm not the kind of person who rages in chat. I just generally don't do that. I'm also not the kind of person who tries to say, well, I'm a better player than you. I just don't do that. I don't want people to even, you know, worry about it. You think what you want to think. But given how this Sims player handles the end of this battle, the fact that he didn't try and chase him down, the fact that he's trying to torpedo a destroyer that's definitely no longer spotted and probably not any longer in that smoke screen. So he can fire torpedoes off. He keeps turning broadside on. He keeps bleeding off speed. And that destroyer, that Kiev, is on one, one HP. RNG Jesus, why do you do this to me? <laughs> this is Wargaming's way of telling me I should just stop playing for the day. No, we're sorry, we're going to load you in late, and then we're going to have you lose a battle to an enemy ship with just one. Just one HP. Just one. I 
yeah. And pretty much after this battle, I, I was done. The, the rage behind that was too much for me. Enemy team wins. A crushing defeat. That Kiev surviving with one HP. But even on a defeat, I managed 320,000 credits and a Kraken unleashed. If it wasn't for that Sims not chasing the guy down, if it wasn't for him firing armor, piercing maybe at the beginning of that engagement with the Kiev, we might have managed to kill him. If the Texas had managed to get those shots in, we might have managed to kill him. The only reason that Sims is higher up is because he captured the B cap point. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all had a happy Halloween, and I hope November is a fantastic month for you. I've probably just gotten back from the USS Midway trip, so you can expect to hopefully see a video on that coming out soon. And I've got some other channel announcement news coming out next week, so look for that. Anyway, if you liked the video, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below. Be sure to check out my other YouTube videos and World of Warships, my other Let's Plays. If you'd like to get semi-regular channel news and updates, please do so by liking and following me on Facebook. If you'd like to help support me and my channel, please do so by visiting my Patreon. And if you'd like to submit your own replay to be showcased on my channel with my wonderful voice, please do so by emailing it to me. You can find the links or all of those in the description down below. And as always, I'll see you next time. This is Captain Rye, signing off.